Now let's go over the components in the center aft bilge. On the center line in the back of this compartment, we have two bilge pumps mounted. These are on automatic float switches, so they'll work manually, or in automatic mode, they'll run whenever there's water in the bilge. Just outboard of these two bilge pumps, we have the seacocks for the hooker bait well system. There are two hoses that run forward to the blue sea chest that's part of the hooker system. There are two pumps and a series of valves that allow you to select which well you'd like to introduce the water into. Your trim tab pumps are just on the port and starboard sides just behind the hooker bait well sea chest. These are self-tending. There's a reservoir on the bottom that contains the hydraulic fluid that allows the trim tabs to operate in the up and down positions. The circuits for the hydraulic trim tab pumps are protected by high amp breakers that are located just above the trim tab pumps themselves. If the breaker has tripped, there's a small lever that's just under the red button on the high amp breaker that will be in the down position. To reset that breaker, you'll simply push that lever back up into place until it clicks. On the forward bulkhead, we have three mercury fuel water separators that filter the fuel that goes from the main and auxiliary tank to the engines. There are isolation valves that allow you to select the particular tank that you'd like to draw fuel from at any given time. There's a main and an auxiliary tank valve on each engine. To open the main tank, you'll look at the label that's on the bulkhead and make sure that the yellow handle is in line with the flow of fuel as it runs through the hose. When the yellow handle is perpendicular to the flow of fuel, that means that that valve is closed. Right now, we have these engines running from the main tank with the auxiliary tank closed. 